I'm going to take a nice positive. Um, I'm going to have a positive take here on your Knicks for a second. Just Why? for one second. Just Why? Because there's a lot of crap to get to, and that's Major League mm-hmm. Baseball. That is this mandate stuff with, with what's going on here in New York City, the Nets thing, and Kyrie Irving. We'll get to that in a second. Can, but I, just, can I just say one thing about the yeah. Knicks? They don't have a big man. I understand. And they, and they don't have a point guard. I understand. And it's kind of been like this I get way it. for 20 years. But I would like to just for a moment, and I know mm-hmm. I'm not the Knicks fan in the room. I get it. But they're at least were in two losses to the Heat and the Sixers over the weekend, both games of which I watched almost all of. Um, I saw things that at least if you're a Knicks fan, while they have major issues, and they start at the top, and we know that with Leon Rose and your guy, World Wide West, and all that, and all the moves that were made in the offseason that have not worked. Well, you know what I mean. And Knicks fans, um, you know, front office. Here's what I saw this weekend, that if you want some promise and hope you would take from it is that R.J. Barrett has gotten better and better. And he has, from the day he's been drafted, R.J. Barrett has become a better player. And he's got the desire and the will. And he went for the 46 on Friday. Now, I get it. They lost to the Heat. I understand all that. But what I've seen out of R.J. Barrett since he's come back from the injury is a different, more aggressive player. And one that I really do believe can become a superstar in this league. They just got to hand it over to the young guys and... and and you hope that each of these young guys grow much like R.J. Barrett has grown right in front of our faces. And, you know, and given all that we talked about, what, three years ago when it was Zion Williamson, Zion Williamson, Zion Williamson. Like, John Morant's a great player. Great player. And he is going to be an awesome, awesome point guard for years and years and years to come. I would much rather have that than have R.J. because of the position and the importance of the position. But we got R.J., and it's turned out that he's probably – you know, right there at the top of that draft class with his explosiveness, with the way that he slashes, the shooting ability, uh, the way to get to the free throw line. There's a lot of things to like about him. Plus, he really does try to play defense. And he cares. It's almost impossible to play defense on James Harden. 